to Knit One Heart Part Two. Two. <laughs> Episode eight. Episode eight. I'm Sheila D. Yeah, I'm Sheila, also known as <laughs> Sheila D. Thirty Seven. Jumping right in. Sorry. Oh, that. The arrow. Okay. Yeah, the arrow on my face again. And I'm Wendy, um, also known as Penny Wendy on Ravelry and Penny Wendy Two on Spark People. And we're gonna break a little bit of um our tradition. Traditional set up and we're going to jump right into gossip and innuendo first we have and big announce gossip. that we are having a contest called I Heart Wilmize. I Heart Wilmize. Or Wilmies or Wilmizer. 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 I Heart Wilmizer. However you'd like to say it, since Wendy is going to Germany on Friday and visiting the Wilmize store next weekend, yes, she's going to become someone's personal mule. And take back a skein of their choice. The yarn of your choice, baby. Or the color of your choice. Yeah. As long as everything works well. Yep. That's the plan. Um, we have our contest on our group. Our group is... Which we formed. We have a we group did. on Ravelry. And we have lots of members. Hi, new members. Thanks. <laughs> and um, yeah, all the rules are on there. But basically what you do is you join the group. Which is Knit One Heart 2. Knit One Heart 2. You can two. search for it using Knit One because I think it's actual. Uh, yeah, we used a heart symbol heart. and a lot of people don't know how to type that. Uh, me just included. go figure, we would do something complicated. <laughs> me included. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila included. <laughs> so me. go on to our group. There's a thread already started. It's called I Heart Will Mice Contest. The simple rules are you have to join the group to, uh, to be eligible for to win. Post in the thread. Post in the thread your five favorite colors. You can go to Woolmize. Woolmize colors, yes. Yeah, Woolmize. We'll link the. I think it's Woolmize.com, but I'm, it's Woolmize and it's not just Woolmize.com, but we'll link it's it. It's Woolmize and Rorschwatz. I couldn't <laughs> pronounce it. That's why I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> we'll link it in the show notes. And uh, they have all the colors up there. Or better yet, you know what? Go to Ravelry and Look in the search through page. the stash colors because that would be your better bet. But pick your top five colors in order of preference and, and then, then your favorite color group in case they don't have one of your top five colors. Right. So say you put Zenzi and they don't have it. You know, we'll go in lists, but if they don't have any f any of the five, we'll go by blue. Yeah, say you did blue Speaking as your which, color I might group. Want you to pick me Zenzi. Yeah, you just tell me what you mean. Oh. I'm muling for a few special people, but we will. I will. Included. I yes, we will buy you a skein of wool mines of your choice if you are the winner. Um, I I think let me get the date for you. We're gonna May keep 12? the contest open oh, until May tenth. 2011 at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Yes, because we are on the East Coast. We're on the East Coast. Um, and then Sheila's going to use a random number generator next, to pick one person. Next Tuesday? Is that next that Tuesday? will be next Tuesday. And um, she is going to email me. Maybe a tad earlier. Because <laughs> I usually work on Monday nights. <laughs> well, me just, stayed you up just till have to midnight. look and see which posts are <laughs> at mid, up to midnight. And... Um, Sheila's going to pick somebody by random number generator, and she's going to email me your color list and your color grouping, and I'm going to do a little quick research in Germany so that I can go to, I think that um, the Walmart orders her store by color, so I'm going to have to figure out which color everything is, and I will do my best to pick you a yarn, a sock yarn of your choice. Does hubby know that he's probably going to be in there for a little while? Yes. It's not going to be a he's, just 20 minute in, 20 minute he's, out, right? He's nervous about filming, and um, I told him, all you have to do is hold the camera up and show me looking at yarn. It's not going to be complicated. <laughs> so, and um, just, I, things happen in this world. Um, and I'm paranoid now know. that I'm not going to get to Wilmize for some reason. Like, I don't know, like the tra they go on a train strike or <laughs> something happens and I can't get there. So in the unlikely event that I do not make it to the Wilmize store, we are going to offer one skein of your choice from our personal Wilmize stash. Um, and, um, we brought our Wilmize to show y'all. We just brought to get you all excited. of our Wilmize, but I will honestly <coughs> say. Sorry. I think there's at least one skein of mine that probably will not be offered. I'm using, but. these are the two that I'm offering up as consolation prizes if I don't make it to Wilmize, but I'm pretty sure that it would have to be something serious to stop me. Um, this is Campari Orange, and I know a lot of our contest people. What did you have, Campari Piccolo? 
before? Didn't you? No, Lara had Campari oh, Piccolo. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, our friend Lara had Campari Piccolo. This is Campari Orange. I love it. It's a red orange blend in the um, 80 20. And this is Pesto, also beautiful, in 100% superwash. And I love the way these colors look together. Yeah, they do. They would make a pretty size. These are. Two, potent, two consolation prizes that you can pick from from my stash. Um, I'm willing to give up one of these if I can't get to the store. And then the other two that I have that I don't know what I'm going to do with is the Herzblut, which is heart's blood in English, and it's just a red colorway. I have two match skeins in the 100%. These I want to keep because they're matched. And if I'm lucky, maybe I can get a couple more at the store and have a sweater's worth. I don't know. Yeah, but um, it wouldn't be the same dialogue. It'd be close enough for government oh. work. <laughs> you, you know, I'm not picky. <laughs> so I have a little bit more of a stash than yeah, she I'm, does. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of the base. Um, a lot of people it, are. It feels very cottony to me. I love, love, love the colors. And I love the finished product. Um, it's wonderfully soft when it's knit up, and the stitch definition cannot be beat. It's really wonderful oh, yeah. yarn in terms of stitch thought. definition, but something about the hand of the yarn is too cottony for me. So um, I don't know. I'm I'm either gonna have Sheila knit me something, <laughs> yeah, or I'm gonna try washing the skeins first to get rid of that like really cottony feel. I don't think that would so, work for you. I don't know. Knowing I'm you, try I just it. know that it wouldn't work. So I've already um, knit with two two projects using wool knives. One was um, Spring Cables in the Tierra de Siena. Terra, Tierra de Siena. De Siena, which I love. And oh, I have beautiful a beautiful orange color. I have a ton left, too. And then I used the black Schwartz for my Pinkerton. Oh, I just have to interject here. Tierra de Siena was a birthday present from me. Yes, it was, because I loved it so much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was mine. I gave it to her. She's so nice. She treats me so nicely. Eh. She spoils me, right? I do spoil her. So I'm going to show you my other ones. She's start with this one. Well, not really. Not compared to others. I'm going to start with this one. This one would not be up for grab. This is the Digitessa colorway. Don't you have a couple of those? I have three of these yeah. in hopes to make a large shawl. I just haven't picked out the shawl yet to do it. And, um, again, uh, I traded one of those you for traded her me Digitessa. Something, and then I traded for it. Wendy's Digitessa, <laughs> yeah. And then, and then I then, traded it for something else. And then Lara, <laughs> Starlet Stella on Ravelry, traded me her Digitessa for another color as yeah. well. Yeah, we ordered the so Digitessa from... All together, um, I think. From, from the Yarnissima's, Yarnissima's website. It was, uh, we all got the kit. Yeah. This was my very first skein. Um, I purchased it off a of Ravelry from someone a couple of years ago. It, this is the Blue Suzanne, and that's not... There, that, that's, that's a really good... This is um, really dark, and I haven't found just the right thing yet to knit with it. This is also, unfortunately, not up for grabs. Sorry. <laughs> She's showing her all your good stuff first. I am, <laughs> I know. And then this... Someone didn't like it was the sock club. This is the Sammy colorway. It's bright yellow, bright orangey red. Bright Another blue. way of saying it is maybe clown barf. A lot of people describe these type of colors as clown barf. It is kind of circus like. I like it though. I'm not sure if that one would be up for grab. You better be able to. I'm actually starting to look and see. I know. Maybe none of this is up for <laughs> grab. Okay, you know, I got uh, I'm willing to get mine up. Aquarius twin. Oh, that's pretty. It's, it's a really green. Greeny, greeny teal. Yeah. It's pretty. showing up blue, though, but it really isn't. It's really pretty. And then this is Hart, Hartunese? Hart, Hortensi. Hortensi. This is bright blue, like royal, royal blue. It's very blue. pretty. It would look really pretty with the um, clown barf sock yarn. What was that called? Yeah. It would look Sammy. great with that. Yeah, Sammy. like if you did um, toes and heels or something. Yes, it would look and great. And then this is the Spina de Pesci. That I tried doing the actual Spina de Pesci with it. Am I, I'm a tight knitter or something. And I don't know. that's a very just, complicated sock. Yeah. I did that in um, Smooshy. Yeah, but it's a really pretty color. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. Not, it's teals Aqua, and blue. It's teal. actually, I'd say it's these two colors together. Yeah, really it is. It is. So if you hold them up, it's like a blending of those two yeah. colors. Yeah. 
So that's my stash. Yes, her stash is much bigger than mine. Which isn't very big considering everybody else's, but I think the last time I acquired anything, which would have been maybe the shorts from a friend who got caught an update, was two years ago. I figured I had enough once, to start with. And, once um, I felt the hand of the base, I knew that I was not going to... Um, Continue stocking. I'm not, yeah. But you know what? I'm going to the Walmart store. Um, Hopefully and maybe the lace will be different. I'm going to try. I'm, I have to buy the lace. I mean, I, I, and I feel like I need to buy a sweater's worth of some color. <laughs> I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, but no, don't do that if you're not going to nail it. <laughs> I know. Well, I can always, the good thing about Walmart is it's kind of like cash. You mm. can always get rid of it if you need to. Yeah, I, so. I was able, I actually this past week got rid of another skein that I had. I almost forgot about it. It was actually the first skein I was able to catch on one of her updates. All the other ones was some of the other, other people I've caught on her update um, was SOS, Save Our oh. Souls, Bright, Bright. Like, we're talking Hunter Rescue. Orange. Yeah, Bright, Bright Orange. And, um, <laughs> life, jack life vest, life jacket orange. Somebody asked for it, and I'm like, yeah, go ahead. And obviously, they paid me for it, but, um, so, yeah. So, um, yeah. I was happy that it went to a loving home, because really, my Woolmise has been sitting in my stash. We love Woolmise contest. Join the contest and become, I will become your personal yarn mule. Personal Germany. mule. For one skein. One skein of your choice. Unless something goes wrong. Nothing's going to go wrong, Nothing's right? Nothing's going to go wrong. I know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous no. about my trip. All right. So, so the Womites contest, that's our big That's gossip. our gossip and innuendo. I don't think I have anything else except for we'll get to that in a little bit. But I got nothing. Okay. I, I got nothing. I'm leaving in a few more days and I'm so stressed panic out about getting ready. I am. I'm totally panicked that something's going to go wrong. I'm so nothing negative. Will go wrong. <laughs> nothing I will, will go no. Wrong. Just seriously, people, the week that I'm traveling out of the country, they finally kill Obama bin Laden. Obama. Oh, yeah. Osama bin Laden. Somebody on Fox News messed it, up. The on names that are too. so close. Osama, Osama, Osama bin, Obama. It's. I'm sorry. I did not mean to call him Obama. Well, it's funny you mention that because um, they showed a clip on Fox News. I watch Chelsea lately when I work overnights on E! Entertainment, and that's exactly what they said. Yeah, it's really easy. So it's good to They're know so that it's so not similar. just him because she was saying that he's I'm probably not going to have a job. I'm in good company with someone from Fox News. Um, yeah, they would finally kill Osama bin Laden like the week that I'm traveling to a foreign country. I'm so worried that somebody's going to retaliate against the U.S. And I mean, not the least of my worries is how long do you think I am going to stand in security on Friday to get a into the plane? Time. I'm, I'm, it's, it's not going to be shoes. good. <laughs> oh, so, bring, I know knitting needles are allowed. Yes. But bring, like, I don't know, just in case. Oh, no. I, I will just tell people as a part of this. When I travel outside of the U.S., I travel with inexpensive bamboo um, I was gonna say bamboo. circs that I use that are horrible, that I would never use on a day-to-day -day basis. But that's what I travel with because it doesn't matter what the rules are. Techni I checked. I researched Germany. Technically... Knitting needles would be allowed under what their rules are. I went to the security page for them. But it doesn't matter. It's like it's Whatever the same as the like. U.S. If an agent decides that something looks dangerous, a security, a TSA agent or a security agent from another country, they can confiscate it. So I just assume that whatever I bring is going to be ripped out of my work and confiscated. And I always bring something that I don't mind losing. So, And I always have some backup thing to do in my... Bring some crochet. Because they might. tend not to take hooks. Well, crochet hooks aren't as pointy, so, you know. I'll have to stab somebody a few <laughs> times to get any done. No, no I, I was telling this story to people on Plark, and I'm just going to throw it in here because it's kind of funny. Um, I had jury duty, like, I don't know, five years ago. Um, it was right after I, I left my job as an attorney, and I was at, at stay at home, and I brought my knitting with me because I used to knit all the time when I went to court. I mean, not in the courtroom, but, you know. While you were waiting. While I was now. waiting. And I had um, size 15, I was knitting something to felt, and I had size 15 wooden circs, the and I had, <laughs> no, it was something else, it was before that bag, and I had a set of um, size 15 metal double points, just two of them, because I was going to make a, um, I an I-cord, like I that. was going to do an I-cord, 
and I am not lying. They let me keep the wooden, um, the bamboo cirques, and they confiscated my metal double points and put them in the weapons cabinet, locked up with the guns and stuff that people bring in from law enforcement until I was done. My needles were in the weapons cabinet. Now, needless to it say, just was like, if, okay. if you were to try and stab somebody with double-pointed needles, you'd probably hurt yourself more than you would hurt them trying to... Well, having worked in the law enforcement industry... You know how loony they are? I, I also know <laughs> that a knitting needle would be very easy for um, oh, yeah. somebody who's incarcerated to turn into a weapon, so I get it. I just thought it was hilarious that they locked it up in the weapons cabinet. It's like it's a knitting needle, but whatever. I still That's had my funny. wooden stuff with me, and I totally get it. And I get why things get confiscated on the plane, and I try not to stress out about it. I don't ever bring anything on the plane with me. <laughs> that's pointy or sharp that I don't mind losing. Yeah. So that's my recommendation for everyone out there who's traveling. Do the research, but know that even if you show them the little printout that says you can have it, if they make the decision to confiscate, it's gone. So yeah. don't bring something you love. So yes, 16 minutes in. <laughs> that okay. was our gossip and innuendo, everybody. So get the long pad over with. <laughs> I know, get it done. So dancing, uh, yeah, jumping right into dancing. <laughs> dancing right in. <laughs> On the dance card. Yes. I'll go first this time. Yes, you it's your first turn. Time. Okay, so uh, my dog, the pug from Knit Your Own Dog, <laughs> got no love this week. Um, <laughs> but I would like to say a couple of thank yous to... Al Cat Mom, also known as Anna, or Anna, also known as Al Cat Mom on uh, Ravelry and Plurk. She had sent me a link on a tutorial that explains a short rose shaping. I'm not sure what dog that's for. Uh, and Pat Knitting for Fun on Ravelry also sent me the same link. So I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to, I peeked into it. It looks kind of what I've done. But um, I'm not doing really short row, short row where I am. But I think I might be able to use that to work for my next side. I was planning on doing it last night, but yeah, I didn't do it. I wasn't up for it. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm knitting that out of Knit Picks Bear US size five, three point seven five millimeters. Um, I'll try and work on it more this week. I, it was in timeout. <laughs> it's very frustrating. It is. So I worked a little bit on my Mountain Ash Shawl by Kate Gagnon. I'll hold it up because it's getting this really lovely alpaca halo. Yes. It's uh, US size very nice. Six Whoops. four millimeters. There you go. You can kind of see it over by Shawl. Uh, the head. Debbie Bliss's alpaca that silk. That is nice. Alpaca silk. Right. We'll try not to put how's, our, it, how's it looking now that you knit beyond that point? Much better. I told you much that better. it would. Yeah, I mean... Uh, Mommy yeah. knows. Mommy, Mommy knows, knows best. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I think it was just the pull of the needle. Yeah, the it must have been. I might have to change these to longer uh, circs so that I could see it better. But still have a, excuse me, a long way to go. But it's even if I just put it on my lap, you feel the heat instantly. It's going to yeah, be so warm. Yeah, it's very nice. It's going to be gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, this got a lot of, you know, mindless knitting. How can how can you not? You just got to pay attention every four rows. And that's all I have, actually, on the dance guide. I mean, I haven't got worked on my socks. I thought I lost them, but I noticed that they're over there. Yeah, I saw them when I came in here. And I've been working on something else, but it's not ready to show, so. Secret knitting. Yeah, for me, though. Secret to Sheila. Yeah, she's, she's, she's making something up. Yeah, I'm making something up. Out Can't wait head. to see it. Um, so I have only one thing on the dance card, as everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> everybody on floor. It's the long, slow waltz. <laughs> it's the, the sweater that never ends. It's bad. Okay, so the body is finished. This is Traveling Sweater by A. Karen Alfke. I'm knitting it on US 3s, which is, did I put the millimeters down? Three point something. 3.25 millimeters. That's close. Um, I'm doing the small size. I'm doing it in Valley Yarns Northfield. This is the body. You can't, oops, let's move it this way. It's huge, and it will block out. I will be blocking it tonight, as a matter of fact. I meant to block it last night, but I was worn out, and I we'll just went to bed. take a picture after you block it. I will, I will take a picture of it blocking, and I will post it, because yeah, I, like to see I think it. it's interesting. That's, do it before and after, if you're not. If yeah, you're not. I'll do a whole thing. And um, I'll do a whole photo montage. And this is the sleeve. This is the left sleeve, which I finished yesterday. 
it doesn't look much like a sleeve, but as you can see, it will block out very large. Is this the arm? Um, yes, this is the arm part of it. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's the back. No, okay. This is the arm. <laughs> it's like origami. I keep saying okay. that, but it totally is. And this goes up like this? All the way around, yes. I, th I don't think I'm going to need to add length to the sleeves at all. No? No, I do not think so. That's nice. Um, yeah, so I have that. And then this is how much I have done on the second sleeve. Now, there's no shaping in this. Well, there's shoulder there is. shaping, but no short row like that. There's no short row shaping. This is all just going to be, you start out knitting straight, a little hunk like this. I just finished that. And then you start to increase for the um, shoulder shaping, which is, you can see it right here. I marked it with a stitch marker. Oh, all right. And then you knit that straight for a little bit, and then you start decreasing down so that you don't have like a bell-shaped sleeve. Should be interesting to see. Yeah, that. I'm interested. I'm a little worried about how skinny these sleeves are, but I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to block out pretty big. So, and I'm going to block to the measurements that they give. Like when I lay it out, I'm going to measure everything. Like I hardly ever do that. Usually I just block it to where it looks right. But in this case, I'm going to go by the measurements. But yeah, I'm almost done. Um, I knit yesterday, was it yesterday? No, Sunday night I knit until my hands got swollen. <laughs> Thank you, Rain Lovers oh, podcast for the, for the frozen pea idea because that worked like a treat. But, um, yeah, so I didn't get as much done yesterday as I hoped to. I had a lot going on yesterday, back-to-back um, -back appointments all day. This is going to be a really hectic week. But I'm pretty confident that this is going to be done at least by Thursday morning, which okay. will give me time to block the sleeve, and then I'll sew it up on Friday before I leave. So if I have a chance, I will take a picture of the finished sweater on me, and I will post it to the blog um, for everyone to see before I go to Germany. But I, at this stage, I am pretty confident that I'm going to finish. <clears throat> Sorry, because that um, the left sleeve really only took me two days worth of knitting. Oh, good. And um, it wasn't like non-stop knitting except that one night when I powered. Through. I watched like three movies back to back oh. and I was just like knit, 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 knit because um, I was panicking. But I feel like it's under control now. So yeah, we'll be checking that out and I will take a lot of pictures um, for my project page and some of them maybe I'll post on the blog so you can get an idea of what it was. But mm. that's it. That's all I have on the dance card. That's mm. it. Rate your date. I have one night stand. I have a one night stand for you. So I told you that I was uh, making washcloths, dishcloths, spa cloths, however you want to call it, for the teachers. I really only need to get one set done by the end of June because my other son is going to be doing summer school for six weeks. So, But I'd like to get it all done. So I cast on for a dishcloth using sugar and cream. Uh, that's what I think A.C. Moore and Michaels and our area, Lily Sugar and Cream. This is called Tea Rose Colorway. Yeah, I'd call it orange sherbet personally. Or peach. Or peach. Peachy pink. Um, it's pretty. I don't know. It's more of an orangey than a pink. But yeah. So I did um, an apple cloth by Rhonda K. White. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Oh, that's cute. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You actually, can totally you can see, see that. It. Um, there we go. So this is for a teacher, so I figured I'd do an apple. It doesn't have to be red. I actually kind of liked it. There was there. another one that was in the shape of an I apple, love it. but you had to pay for it. And I'm like, there's too many free yeah. ones that I'm not going to pay. That's cute. So um, this was size 8 needles. Um, I don't know the U.S. conversion. I'm sorry. I think it's 7.5. I, got, I don't know. You know, I, got I don't nothing. know. I'm sorry. Um, it might be five something. I don't know. I, I have no idea. You. Anyways, uh, it was really easy and it was fun. And you actually did the work from the pearl side. Like this was considered the front. Yeah. And you did the 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 pearl stitches and the knit stitches. It was really fun and easy. And this took me. I cast on this yesterday. I think eight is a five millimeter. Five, I just okay. checked it on my sizer. Um, I cast on this yesterday afternoon, and this is what I worked Ooh, on last night. Awesome one night. We love one night stands. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, I mean, I love sugar and cream cotton. I know, and once you wash it once and start to use it, it gets so soft. Yeah, it does shrink, though, so just be careful, you know. 
I tend to make mine a little bigger, but I think this will be a nice spa with my other one and a nice bar of soap. I think that's a really nice teacher gift. So, And it's not going to be the usual run-of-the-mill thing that they get. I have just a little bit left. Not enough for another one, but I think what I'm going to do is take all my scraps and do the grandmother's dishcloth that's diagonal. Oh, yeah. I know. And just keep that for me. Good idea. Because I use these all the time. That's a good idea. And they're starting, some of them are starting to get smelly and old, so it's time to get rid of them. Yeah, so. my, my mom is my dish, dishcloth source. <laughs> Socks and dishcloth. Nice. So that's yeah. my only rate your date, and it was a one-night stand. Literally, it took me one night. Good job. I have no dates to rate because all I do all the time is work on that sweater. <laughs> so no roly-poly this week? No, the roly-poly, there was no time. There was no yeah. roly-poly. There was nothing. I just, literally, I just knit on that sweater. And it's going to be that way for some time. So, yeah, I'm sorry, people. I got nothing. For future dates, um, I don't have any at this moment. Sorry, the allergies are pretty bad up here. Yeah, we're both kind of bad. Um, <laughs> and so I do this to prevent myself from sneezing. It works, actually, if you press right if here. If you press right here. Yeah. Good to know. For me, for me it works. <laughs> anyway, We don't want to do any editing this week. Sorry. Please. For future dates, I have nothing right now. I want to get that uh, pug off my needles. You know, if this shoulder thingy works out, maybe my boys will get too. Doubtful, but maybe. I might do something else. There's so many out there. Um, and I really want to get the mountain ash and uh, you know, maybe cast on some socks. I don't know. I keep saying you that. Got I haven't worked on my socks. So well, I got nothing. I told you last week what I was going to do, but I brought in the yarn that I picked to do it in. So I thought I would show that. Um, I can't wait to see that. I decided to do mad collar weave socks. I talked to my friend Lara. Start with Stella on Ravelry, who has done, let's see if I can get a better, there you go. That's uh, not a great picture. It's not focusing for some reason. Or yeah, the picture I think the picture good. is not very clear. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to do the Mad Color Weave socks, I decided, and I've shown this yarn before, but I'm going to do it in Hank's Yarn and Fiber. Perhaps today is a good day to dye Superwash Merino Sock in the sock monkey colorway because we all know I love sock monkeys. I think that's going to be very cute. Yeah. And I think that the pattern is going to be, um, it's going to be good because this is really heavily variegated. Is I mean, it self-striping or no? It just. I don't believe it's self-striping. Okay. It's just um, variegated. And I think it's going to be a good um, yarn choice. And then the other one that I'm doing that I showed last time, and I'm kind of excited about this, and we'll probably cast it on first, is the Ginkgo shawl. And oh. wouldn't you know, oh, here it is. thought I didn't bring the picture. I'll show it again. It's really pretty. That's a pretty good picture of it. Um, I am doing that in one of my favorite yarns, String Theory. Oh. I brought... I changed my mind. <laughs> String Theory. Oh, um, is pretty. This is the Caper Sock, which is 80% um, Superwash Merino, 10% Cashmere, 10% Nylon, 400 yards. This is the colorway called Essence. Is and that a club yarn? No, I bought this at Stitches oh, right. East two years ago. And um, it's got blues, muted blues and greens like and purples. purples and a rose color. That's I wish look that gorgeous. we had. It's it's beautiful. I I can't tell you how much I love Caper Sock. I have a whole sweater out of it. That horrible moaning myrtle is out of Caper Sock. Oh, you need to. I'm frog gonna redo that. that. Yeah, I'm gonna frog it. Because um, and then um, I have some fingerless mitts out of this in a different colorway. And, um, yeah, String Theory. This is the little card. They have a website. Check them out because they are awesome. You can also get them on the Loopy U. But, yeah, that's going to be Ginkgo. I, that's going to be gorgeous. That is going to be gorgeous, and I've seen a lot of Ginkgos. Oh, <laughs> okay, sorry. we will be with you in one moment. Hi, sorry, Hi, sorry. about that. Wrong it, number. It ended up being a wrong number. <laughs> Go figure. So, oh, man. Sorry. Uh, so we were talking about the ginkgo. I've seen a few people do that, um, and it's come out gorgeous. So it should I can't be wait. interesting. I know that one's on my queue, too. It's going to be my first thing to cast on. I'm going to save the socks for later in the trip because I think this will be easier knitting. And who knows? I'm probably being over 
ambitious. You know how you always bring like eight million things to knit and then you never even finish the first thing? Yeah, but you're only bringing two. That's not over. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to have needles um, delivered to me at my hotel when I arrive. And, and I'm going, going to the Walmart to... yeah. store. So, so if I, I think... run out, I think I'm covered. I think you're covered. <laughs> All right. Um, so that was future dates, crushes and heartbreaks. My crush right now? Sleep. <laughs> not getting any. <laughs> Work last night. We're actually going out tonight, so good for you. Yes, we are going to the Red Sox game. Oh, that's right. For the family of four, through Children's Hospital, which we're very grateful. It's the one bonus you get for having a kid who's got <laughs> chronic health issues. We get to meet Jason Veritek. I'm excited. Jason Veritek is very cute. Well, he's just he's done a lot. He's I mean, an excellent ball player. You know, player, that's what I have to very say cute. about a lot of the sports figures in New England, and I'm sure they're all over the place. They do a lot of charity work, and it's great to see that they really do try and bring back to the community. Red Sox is a big supporter of Children's Hospital and the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. So it's just, uh, I'm yeah. looking forward to it. My boys are excited. They're wearing their red shot. That is Sox huge. Jerseys right that now. is so huge. I gotta find mine, so... I forgot that was today. Have fun. That sounds like so much yeah. fun. Um, so let's see. That's it for future dates, right? You no, that was a crush and heartbreak. Oh, so that my... was a crush and heartbreak. So yeah, I guess Red Sox are crushes. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> I didn't hear you because I was reading my notes. I'm oh my sorry. God. Sorry. Oh, God. This so... is the day that Wendy sucked. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so that was your crush and heartbreak. Break. And you said you had something. I had a heartbreak. I mentioned last week that I lost my sunglasses. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can tell. I'll show you. These are my glasses. These are silhouette glasses, and I highly recommend them to everybody. These are actually a crush. I had I bought these exact same glasses um, in 2003, and I just reordered them, and it's now 2011. Oh, wow. I, I ordered them 2010, November, um, and I love them because they're titanium, and they can oh, geez. bend. So if you have small children or you're just really rough on glasses, these are the way to go. And they're also like, they weigh nothing. They, they weigh, they're like, they're nothing. Yeah. So I love them. But the downside is they're costly. They're only available at a few um, places. And if you want sunglasses, you have to get this little oh. clip-on sunglasses like this. Now, the sunglasses <laughs> cost about $80 for the... Really? Yeah, I know. It's expensive, but it's not... They're like two pieces of plastic. So they're not even prescription. No, they just clip right on. Oh, I thought they were prescription. No, they clip right on, and... Um, Don't you look cool and fashionable. <laughs> yeah, they clip right on, and they're awesome, you know. They, they're lightweight, and you just keep them in this little thing. The first pair of glasses I had, I lost the sunglasses right away, <laughs> like within a few months. Then my mom has like two or three pairs of these. Over the years, she just keeps getting them. She gave me one of her old pairs. It didn't quite have the same lens shape, but it worked well enough. I lost that. Then I got these new ones, and I was so excited because I could get the sunglasses which I did, and I freaking lost those last week. I cannot find them anywhere. So, I do not know. I know. I, I'm sure that when I clean my house in preparation for my mother coming, that I will find them now that I have spent $80 to buy another pair. But that was my heartbreak. I had to order those. They had to rush them in for me. Thank God my eyeglass place is awesome because... Um, I told them I was leaving on Friday. I said I need them right away, and mm. they or, they actually came in last Friday. I lost them on um, Wednesday, and they had them in yeah, by Friday. You had told me about wow, that's and pretty good. I know they are so nice, and they adjusted them for me and everything yesterday. But that was my little heartbreak. I'm mad at myself. I, why can't I? I can't. I don't lose these. <laughs> I have a, a pair of expensive sunglasses that every now and again they get misplaced, but. I tend to find them, thank goodness. Oh, it's just I, bad. <laughs> I, I'm sorry to say I can't wear the, the cheap $10 ones. They just, they hurt, they give me headaches. And my non prescription, they're just, you know, the ones that you get from Sunglass Hut or Sun Whatever Hut. Yeah. I love I love these glasses. I, if you have a baby or a small child, these glasses are awesome because you know how little kids are always 
Yeah. Yeah. These got me through the infancy of both of my kids. And okay. my husband has broken, and I'm not lying, four pairs of glasses from kids yanking on them. I keep telling them, get these. They can't be broken. You'd have to try really hard to break them. Anyway, that's my crush and heartbreak. Bottles and bling as per my usual. Nothing. She was on a tight budget. Yeah. Um, I think from now on, I'll just start bringing in a random skein of <laughs> yarn from my from stash, the stash that you I should. forgot. They, yeah. There is one fun. yarn that I uh, really want to show you guys that I like and I've been looking for a project for it. So next week. Yeah, or that's next a good idea. Time. And maybe people could offer you suggestions. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I have some. I am. <laughs> Plurk, oh, that's right. Plurk is killing me. Yes, I'm I've heard many stories you. that Plurk is a bad enabling. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I got. I got on there for something. I Somebody showed really cute stitch markers, and it wasn't, I don't even remember the name of the store. Um, they were so cute. They looked like little gnomes and little toadstools. Oh, okay. They were awesome. But I don't know why, but then I got on Etsy from that, and I was looking around, and I decided that I should get some stitch markers. I used to make and sell stitch markers. I have about 800 <laughs> stitch markers, but I found these Sometimes ones. Sometimes it's nice. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I was just on, I don't know what happened. Um, Goldie Socks, etc. Knitting stuff that's just right. That's what her business card looks like. Joanne Goldschlager. And she makes these little, I thought I bought them because I thought they were funky and neat. They're cute. They're square. You got the rainbow. Aren't they cute? I'd say they probably go up to a size Four or five, maybe? Um, I'm not sure. It said on the thing. I think it was up to eight. Oh, really? Yeah, size eight. Oh. And that looks, eight or seven looks about right to me. Yeah. Um, I thought they would be awesome for shawl knitting. Yeah. How many? I think it's ten. I haven't taken them out of the little bag yet. Wow, that's I wanted a lot. To show them. Yeah, and it, they were really inexpensive, and, and she was very quick and awesome. So definitely order from Goldie Socks, etc., Go out, buy, just like me. It will make me feel better. And then um, this <laughs> yeah, is, I'm blaming on um, Robin DJ from Plurk. Hi, Robin. Robin Hi. private plurked me that um, Tomo and Timo on Etsy was having a sock monkey thing that I might like to look at, which was the sock monkey tape measure. It has bananas on the back. It matches an existing bag that I have. I know. So as soon as I saw it, I had to buy it. Thank you, Robin, for making me spend money on this. It's <laughs> it's awfully cute. It's just darling. It has a little it is cute fur on it. Um, yeah, I love it. Love it. Um, I didn't get a business card with it. It was just in, with a. Um, it just had an invoice, but it's. Tomo, T-O-M-O, -O, and Timo, T-I-M-O, on Etsy. And I think that the Knit Girls talked about yeah, the same store. Yeah, they did a couple store. of weeks ago. Um, I hadn't seen that episode when I bought this, but I did see it afterwards. And they have tons of them. They're really cute. So check them out if you have extra cash to spend. But people, stop plurking me with these bags and stuff. <laughs> because I am very weak. Yeah, <laughs> I see. waste a lot of time looking at stuff on Etsy. <laughs> we were talking on Virtual Knit Night that... um. You know, this is the only, yarn diet is the only diet that I can stay on. Give me food, forget it. That's where I lose it. So she's good on her regular diet. Me, I'm good on my yarn diet. And I'm so, so terrible. Uh, I, I can get sucked into a sale very easily if it's yeah. something different. Like, I, like bags. <laughs> I get a really, really want it or really need it, which we all know you Slip, don't really need anything. Slip Stitch Studios had a ton of bags. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on it. But I didn't. I controlled myself. They had some really cute bags, though. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of bags that I don't even use. Like, um, Loopy U Constellation Prize last year. I got the three red Namaste bags. Yeah, the snaps. Yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, oh snap, snap bags. bags. Yeah, they're still I love it. those. I know. I like them, but they're still in their um, bag that I got them in the little plastic thing that you get them in. I haven't yeah. used them. I use mine mostly for I'm supplies. Bad. I might bring one of them with me on my trip because it's see through. Well, it's see through, yeah. I don't yeah. know. That would be good to travel with. But yeah. Um, oh, and for anyone who noticed, I am wearing a hand knit sweater. This oh, is noticed, the um, Mondo Mondo Pullover, Mondo Cable Pullover by Bonnie Burns. 
Pretty. Um, out of Dreaming Color, smooshy. I, just, I like how the collar works. Yeah, it's really neat. It kind of blends. It, it's a um, yeah. uh, I-cord finish oh. that blends into the um, cable. Yeah. I like that. But yeah, this was one of my, from the year of sweaters. This is Last one of the ones. Year, right? Yes. Dreaming Color. Dreaming Color, Lipstick Lava, lava. Dreaming Color Classy, my favorite um, sweater Very base. Pretty. Yeah, I thought I would wear a knit, and I'm wearing my socks that my mom made for me that I showed you last week. Whoops. Okay. There we there go. There go. There we go. I still uh, haven't woven the ends in. My oh, head. I was going to say the ends are all woven in. <laughs> I just, not. no, I'm just wearing them. I couldn't find any socks. I was like, oh, those are in my bag. I'm going for it. I've been wearing my slippers. As once I got those dried, the other slippers were just left in the wayside. I'm still debating on whether or not to throw them. Or I would throw them out. I know, but I they just, have lived their oh, useful yeah, life. Have, I know. <laughs> Bury them with respect. <laughs> don't don't let hang them out around anymore. I know. So well, it's tomorrow's trash day. So oh, well, there you go. Trash day, awesome. And uh, that's pretty much. Yeah, it, we, we've already talked about our gossip and innuendo. Yeah, and join the contest. On. Join our group, Knit One Heart to One Ravelry. Yeah, we you'll like see the to contest see thread. I heart Woolmies. And start threads about stuff, people. So yes, like, please. There's only we would three love right to there. Get to know you. you know, <laughs> somebody tell us what's on your needles, because you know you've already seen what's on us. Um, what's your favorite color? You know, yeah. enable us. Enable, please. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> it's your group as much as it is our group. Yeah. So and it's kind of fun. Start chatting. And um, you can find us at knit1heart2.blogspot.com if you're watching this on iTunes. And if you are watching this on iTunes, please leave a comment or a star rating on this podcast or any other, any other that you podcasters watch. that you listen or watch to. Let's make the knitters rule yes. on the hobby section of iTunes. Yeah, that is my rule for 2011 <laughs> and woodworking. Come on, people. <laughs> We're better than that. <laughs> um, knit one Heart two at gmail.com. We you can reach us through our Gmail. I check it every day. Good. Um, I do. <laughs> I, I've never checked it. No, I do. I check it every day. That's one of the Yay. things that I do. Uh, what else? Knit one heart two. I'm Clark. I'm Clark for both of us. Either dash W dash S or if there's no dash at all, it's probably me. <laughs> Sorry about that. I haven't been on Plork much lately because yeah, I'm trying either. to get that sweater done. I've been tired. I and... periodically check in and tell you how far I am. But um, Plork has been really fun, so I joined us on Plork. Especially doing the virtual knitting. Yeah, That's virtual fun. knit night. Um, That's awesome. They, some of the girls got to meet Max, actually. Mommy me John yesterday. He's <laughs> like, I want to see Max. So Max was there. And so. um, if you're a um, former viewer, a continuing viewer, thank you for coming back. And, and if, if you're, you're a new, new viewer, viewer, thank you for joining us. Yes, I hope you had fun. Um, this is actually a short episode for us. I know. <laughs> and that's what? 29, about 45 minutes. That's, that's still long, but... At least it's long. And we're episode. still talking. All right. Shut up! <laughs> you people, shut up! <laughs> we know, we're just horrible. Oh, yeah. Have yeah. a good week. Wendy leaves on Friday. There um, most likely will not be one until she comes back. I, a recording. I own the... I own the computer that she we owns usually the camera. record on. I own the classy studio. <laughs> Live from the Knit One Heart 2 home and, studio. Uh, she owns the computer. I own the so. computer that we work on. So, yeah. But, um, like I said, I'm going to try to post some pictures of my project on the blog. And if I see anything cool in Germany... Maybe I'll post some pictures of that. I was going to say, maybe what I'll do is just do a little blog update if I don't record. Yeah, you could totally do that. Or just, try recording yeah, if you can. We'll see. I have to figure it's, it out. It's kind of a pain in the butt for those of you who are podcasting. Yeah. Well, Blip. I don't even know if I have a recording program on my, on yeah. my computer. So. Um, but yeah, everybody, thank you. Um, we're having so much fun, and we love to see the people joining the group. We and do. Um, I love seeing all the new podcasts that are out there too. So if you're a podcaster, mention it on our group so we can yeah, check it out. We can check it out and throw you a shout out. Yeah, we love to do that um, because people like us that do this do this for the love of knitting and for the love of um, sharing. Yeah, and so for the attention. <laughs> well, there is that attention. She's okay. an attention whore. Yeah, <laughs> so not. <laughs> You knew me outside of this. So Trust not. me, I'm so not. So not. No. <laughs> okay. And now, after blathering on, All right. thank catch you. you later. Knit, Knit with, with heart. heart. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.